Hi guys, you're very welcome back to the vlog. I'm here at uh, the Warren in Ross Carberry on my way around the Wild Atlantic Way. Um, it is about half past six in the morning. You can see the bit of blue there in the background as it's beginning to get bright. Uh, Travelled down from Cork this morning about an hour, so I was up about five o'clock. Um, yeah, I don't have my sidekick Darren here. Now, let's be honest, this is my fourth time trying to vlog this. Uh, back in January of last year, um, about uh, 15, no, sorry, 13 months ago, um, I we came down in early January, met up with a fellow photographer who I'm hoping to meet again this morning. He's like uh, uh, Mr. Warren Beach, not Mr. Warren Beatty, no, <laughs> Mr. Warren Beach, and uh, comes down here most mornings uh, before work and takes shots of this particular area. Um, we'll introduce him later. Moving on. Um, so I traveled down here uh, in January last year, took photographs, took uh, video, did all the the usual for a vlog and about a month ago went looking for it because it was the next leg of the, uh, the Wild Atlantic Way and could find a certain amount of photographs but not all and no video. Checked everywhere. Now those of you who do vlogging will know that there's an absolute an amount of video involved with it. An awful lot of video ends up on the cutting room floor as it were and so a lot of uh, external hard drives and uploading into cloud is needed I'm sure I'll find it in about six months time, but alas, that is would be too late. So, came down last week, uh, two efforts. The weather forecast put us arrived both times. When it was beautiful down here, when they said it wasn't going to be nice and we weren't here. And then when we arrived and they said it was going to be nice, it wasn't nice. So here this morning, and thankfully the weather is looking good. One or two little problems here. We have a bank of cloud out on the horizon, which could affect the actual strength of the sun, i.e. when the sun is at its best, just rising above that horizon. Yeah, um, we're not going to be able to see it with that bank of cloud. Let's hope it dissipates. We're about an hour away from um, sunrise uh, at half past seven. Also, um, yeah, uh, it, 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 it's the end of February and it often, um, the sun rises um, to the left hand side of the bay and the shoulder of the actual um, cliff sides and hillsides uh, on the left hand side tends to get in the way and it was best shot here end of December early January so that the sun rises up over Galley Head and, uh, and the Galley Head Peninsula you get a fantastic sunrise there and takes in the Galley Head as well too especially with maybe a 7200. Um, I'm going to head down to the beach in the minute as I say and I'll talk to you about the rest of the vlog then. Stay with me hopefully we'll get some great shots and I have some shots from the last time I were here, was here I really do like some of them and Darren modeling Mary, you have to stay on to see some of that. Talk to you in a minute. Take care. Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I've come down to the beach. I have with me John Quinlan. He's um, a very good photographer. Posts all over Facebook. You've probably seen a lot of his work mainly based in West Cork <coughs> and I'll talk to John in a minute. Uh, I've decided to, the tide is pretty much in and the sea is pretty dead at the moment. Yeah, there's a bit of action in the waves, but not a lot. Um, to protect the beach, they put in uh, these rocks. They are curling off to the left-hand side, taking the eye possibly away from where the sun is coming up. Um, I did forewarn you earlier that uh, there were a bank of clouds on the horizon and this obviously isn't what we wanted at all. Um, it will probably be 20 minutes to a half an hour after the actual sunrise at half past six before we'll see that sun. And then it'll be very, very strong and to try and shoot it won't be easy. Um, I'm just taking shots there at the moment. There's nothing in the rest of the sky so it's not ideal. If we could ask that bank of clouds maybe just to come up above us here and then leave space for the actual sun to come up at half past seven, it'd be fantastic, because that, the, the whole bank of clouds would light up, whereas at the moment, it's not happening. Uh, we just have the uh, bank of clouds basically stopping the sun getting through until it's at such a height, and then it's nearly too strong to shoot into.
okay there we have the actual um, channel uh, that leads into the estuary into uh, Ross Carberry. Ross Carberry is roughly, you can see some of it just over here uh, beyond the uh, sand dunes over and we have in front of us as well of course the Ross Carberry um, Pitch and Put Club. Um, yeah, coming around here and then making its way out to sea. Uh, tide is nearly in full there now at the moment and we have across the way and I've shown you some clips maybe earlier of the actual pier quite uh, um, well it's, 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 it's a distance away from here um, but it's a quiet pier it's not a busy pier and then we have the fisherman's cottage over here. And again, lovely to shoot from there as well to when the sun is rising. Can't be on both sides. That sun nearly caught me there. Um, we were busy doing a little bit of a chat when the sun decided to peak up over. And it's absolutely extremely strong now. And yet it's only half an hour after sunrise. Well, just to tune in with you, um, as I've said just there, it's a half an hour after sunrise. Um, the sun seemed to just come up, obviously, out, out of the clouds far quicker than we thought. We were in the middle of having a chat ourselves. Um, I had put a camera, thinking that, feeding off of John as well too, that it was full tide. And um, it wasn't. And I had a camera in position. And when I went over... There was some action coming off of the rocks on the far side of these rocks here behind me and the camera was quite drenched. Uh, so it took me a while to clean it off. Not just the water, the salt is the thing that stays for so long. And, and then try and get some shots as well. I was using another camera with a 24-105 um, shooting into the sun. Too strong now, obviously. Uh, but uh, I, I got some shots, but not half as many as I really wanted and was pre prepped for. I just wasn't prepped for it. Um, it's a bitter cold here, um, even though it's about what one or two degrees. Um, yeah, I could hardly feel the fingers. And then you're trying to fumble for things and trying to work things as you normally do. And it doesn't happen as quickly. So what we might do now is because that sun is too strong to shoot into, you can't shoot into it after a certain point. We might go up to this high point up here. A uh, bit of a, a short bit of a climb up to it that looks over the bay and uh, yeah get some shots from up there and certainly some video footage because got it the last time I was here, got it, Darren uh, posing for a shot as well too and um, yeah I was happy with those, I'll show you them in a minute but lovely to look over it with this lovely low light at the moment and beautiful colours. Talk to you from above there, take care.
Um, I have with me here John Quinlan. Uh, John is a, a Carlo man by birth, uh, a Tipperary man in, in his past as well, and now lives in Ross Carberry. John, you come down here reg regularly to the, the Warren. Uh, why so? Because, and what do you shoot with? Well, I generally shoot with a Canon EOS 10 or Canon EOS 5. Okay. Um, 10s to use the phone quite a bit as well these days. Phone, yeah, but how bad? It's, phones these days are developing, they're, they're coming on a little bit. Yeah. I, here, when I, get to, when I get the chance early morning here, there's just beautiful light, there's a great sense of peace, a great yes. sense of quiet. Yes. There's no one on the beach. This yeah. beach here during summertime can be jam packed. Yes, it can. And you don't get a chance really to have that sense of quiet. And I think photography for me is yeah. a sense of I'm not in the camera club. Okay. And I'll be quite honest, I don't want to be in a camera club. Yes, okay. Because you can go away with with your camera, go wherever you want, shoot whatever you want, yeah. walk wherever you want. And I mean last last about three weeks ago yeah. I took a hike from my house. Okay. All the way along the coast here. Yes. All the way out. Out to Galley Head. Out to the Galley Head. Not sure if you can pick that up, lads, but Galley Head is right out here on the... Just behind me, over my shoulder. I'll just move the camera slightly. You might even stand there. Uh, not sure if it's really good up here. Yeah, just about there now, John. Uh, yeah, moving that. Uh, Galley Head is roughly about here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can pick that up, lads, but there's a headland that runs all the way around. Uh, and uh, from left to right, from Long Beach, you can go. Started came out from West Carberry, out over the cliff walk here, down onto the Onahinta Beach, Onahinta, yeah. up onto Castle Freak, right. Up over the hill, you can you won't see in the distance, but you you can walk right down, okay. along by Long Strand, and Long Strand. Long Strand yeah. Then there's when we go in here further along, yes. there's little coves all the way along that yes, you can go and explore are. and just have little peace and quiet, yes. no one with you. And yeah. it's a great way to actually crash out, and crash out do what you want to do, and yeah, yeah, yeah. also keep fit. Yes, absolutely. You know, you know. Yes, a bit of walking so, there as so well. So that's, that, that'll be part of the, what you do here. And there's just brilliant, brilliant scenery here. And what I, I mainly a nature photographer photographer right i love photographing swans herons egrets yes. loads of that stuff inside in the estuary here yes absolutely uh, and lots of other smaller birds as well but i much prefer the bigger birds yeah but you, you do an awful landscape as well too john fact, i do i, I wouldn't really associate as, as a landscape photographer oh cheers uh, and well i do in, in general and you shoot an awful lot of this particular area and when you can get out to galley head out to galley head as well too because it's very photogenic out there as well. it is and, and you, Going out there, you you can sense the different. There's old ruins, correct. Coming coming out, looking yes. out at at the, what do you call it. So it gives different angles. It does. And one thing I'm, I'm finding, and, too. Yeah. yeah, and just from talking to Fergus earlier on yeah. there, that we're talking about recycling stuff. When you go out there, you see something different every time. Okay. okay. You know, so yeah. part of the thing with photography is keeping the eyes open. And right. you, you, you'll, you'll find something Absolutely. much more different. So yeah. that's, that's and basically... And seeing a different composition. Yes, exactly. Like going off the beaten path and trying to find some places that yeah. others won't, aren't willing to go or haven't gone. Haven't gone. And but he, to get something original. But even here, you just find something... There's something peaceful here about, about what you call it. This morning, we have a cloud bank that, yeah, that, yeah. that's down that's low. But there, yeah. there is going to be a little bit of colour emerging and in so there it's now. It's just coming up at the tip. It's just yeah. coming up there yeah. now. Yeah. But... When that's clear and you're a clear blue sky, yeah, to me there's nothing like it. Okay, you love it. Yeah, that's your, and that's yeah. that's what you call it. And a lot I, of your photo photographs are based on that. They are. You're a morning person more than an evening. You shoot mornings normally, John, don't you? I I generally sunrise because I have a day's work to do. Yeah. Before I go to work, I usually get out here. Yes. And just head away, prepare myself for the day, yeah. and yeah. get away. I'm usually work, not finished work maybe till six, seven. So okay. at the moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. you won't get a sunset. Okay. But having said that, last couple of weeks, we're getting lovely sunsets down here. Okay. We're getting okay. lovely stuff. So, but the time uh, isn't conducive. Ti time isn't you. conducive. And also the phones, you're, you're kind of using your, 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 sorry, the cameras. You're using your phone more than your cameras yeah. because you're heading straight to work afterwards. You can't be dragging in a bag load yep. of no, cameras. Not a, not a chance where I'm going. Yeah, There's yeah, not yeah. a chance in hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so so you have you sense with that, but I mean even my my 
background or where I come from in, in the sense of photography and taking photographs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was a school teacher, yeah. worked with ki severe, kids with severe and profound disabilities. Okay. And the only way I could document yes. was, was using camera. Okay. Using camera. Would because you have videoed some of that stuff as well? We did. Maybe? We did. Okay. We did. Okay. So yeah. spent 10 years working in Kilkenny. Okay. So there's my other county. Okay. Uh, God, poor fella. Oh, yeah. Anyway, poor fella. That's right. I think that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but anyway, uh -huh. that's... So, in, in the sense of that, and that, you have to, the thing is, for me, photography is just simply keeping the eye open, and you'll see, see if see, you keep up, things. you know, yeah. so that's, that's the way I find We're it. We're a little unfortunate that we don't have the World Atlantic Way, it's quite calm and mellow and relaxed here this morning, albeit very cold as well, which is unfortunate because you can get some great compositions with those particular rocks there, or yeah. the beach, yeah. the actions on the, the, the beach. The beach, and, and literally and if, it, if it was coming in here at the corner... Correct. I don't know, Hinchia, and they're coming off, and, and, and they, they, really they, they, the if they come over the edge, yeah, I, yeah. I've actually seen waves yeah, coming yeah, off yeah, yeah, full height. Yeah, yeah. No. And in fact, if, when we were here, as I've said to you earlier, lads, this is our second time being here, about, well, 13 months ago, maybe nearly 14 at this stage, early January, 3rd of January last year, you, myself and Darren were here on we the were. beach. And I think there's a bit more action. Having said that, again, that bank of cloud was there. It was there as well, yeah. higher bank that particular day. It was a much higher... There, there was no... There yeah. was no... There was a little bit of colour there, and you can see yes. the, the, the sun literally breaking in the, in the, yeah. Yeah. In the clouds there. But the, and it, maybe a bit of blue sky there as well. Yeah. But... But anyway, look... Anyway, you get... You, you, get, you, get, you, get, you get what you get. Exactly. And that's it. That's it. Brilliant. Thanks, hey, what? Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give me a like. It helps develop the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, well, why not do so? And join me on the rest of the vlogs for the Wild Atlantic Way. And I'm heading away in a, about five or six weeks' time as well. So, um, yeah, abroad. And probably will be bring a series of vlogs from that area. Um, won't say what it is yet because I haven't got there yet. But, um, yeah please join me for that so anyway listen thank you very much for joining me as i say always hope you're keeping well and we'll till the next time talk to you then